Today, let's create a capsule wardrobe example for the flamboyant gamine body type. My goal for this series is not to provide a perfect capsule wardrobe for a specific body type, but to show a few concepts, items, and style elements that you can adopt that will honor your body type. Like I've said in all of my Kibbe capsule wardrobe videos, I want to break out of those common Kibbe stereotypes and show you how you can really own your personal style while still incorporating items that flatter your body type. If you're not quite sure what your Kibbe body type is, I'll leave links to tons of great resources in the description box below. I welcome you to leave any questions you might have in the comments so that I know exactly what you want to learn next. Before we jump into Kibbe's descriptions of the flamboyant gamine body type, I'd just like to say that everything I'm presenting here is my own interpretation of David Kibbe's work and might not always align with his intentions for the system. I'll always encourage you to check out the Strictly Kibbe Facebook group so that you can learn more straight from the source. And if you're new here or you've been watching my videos for some time and haven't subscribed yet, my channel is all about learning everything you need to know to develop your own personal style. From using color to understanding your body type, to styling outfits that really work. So please join me here. I promise that you'll have at least one aha moment that will help you on your wardrobe journey. Okay, now let's get into an introduction of the flamboyant gamine woman. All of the kibbe types are primarily described by their unique mix of yin or feminine traits and yang or masculine traits. The flamboyant gamine woman is a beautiful juxtaposition of both yin and yang with a dramatic undercurrent. Her dominant descriptors are petite and angular. Her yang body structure is narrow and angular, with her yin traits primarily showing up in her short stature and large rounded eyes. She has a straight figure, may have long legs, and also wider shoulders in comparison to the soft gamine type. She may appear compact or slightly muscular. Her facial features are usually composed of sharp angles in the nose and jaw, with often large rounded eyes. Though she has a long vertical line due to her slender frame, the flamboyant gamine should avoid emphasizing her vertical. The flamboyant gamine's best lines are horizontal, diagonal, and asymmetric. Some great examples of flamboyant gamine women are Audrey Hepburn, Penelope Cruz, and Lisa Minnelli. Keywords for the flamboyant gamine include angular, cropped, contrasted, asymmetrical, sharp, detailed, defined, tailored, playful, and androgynous. So now that we know a little bit more about the flamboyant gamine body type, let's talk about the color palette for this capsule wardrobe. In Kibbe's Metamorphosis, he talks about color recommendations for each of the body types. However, I disagree that color is explicitly tied to body type. It is true that lighter colors will create a softer, more dreamy effect, while darker colors will create a more dramatic effect. However, you'll look best in the colors that share the most qualities with your own natural coloring. If you're interested in learning more about how to create your perfect color palette, check out this playlist when you're done watching this video. Because flamboyant gamines look amazing in high contrast, I thought it would be really fun to put together a color palette that has some triadic color combinations. Triadic color combinations often have a fun, energetic, and quirky effect. While I know this won't be everyone's cup of tea, I really want to show how flamboyant gamines can pull off these high contrast looks with loads of color and personality even in a small capsule wardrobe. To accomplish this within a cool summer color palette, I started with dark red, cornflower blue, and army green. I'm breaking the rules a little bit by adding this army green color in a cool summer color palette, but I'm excited to create some outfits with complementary colors for maximum contrast. To lighten up the overall color palette, let's also add lighter shades of the first three colors with this pink, dusty blue, and light green. This will also allow us to create some tonal color combinations as well. When styling a tonal outfit for the flamboyant gamine, it's best to maintain as much contrast as possible rather than creating a blended look. So let's keep that in mind when we start selecting items. To round out the color palette with some neutrals, let's add off-white, cool beige, and black. Now that we have our color palette, 
let's put together our flamboyant gamine capsule wardrobe. Just as I've done in my previous videos, I'm going to show you some examples of flamboyant gamine outfits that don't necessarily follow all of the Kibbe rules. However, let's start by talking about some items that are harmonious with the flamboyant gamine body type. For bottoms, a cropped pair of trousers or jeans is a great basic to start with. The perfect length is 1 to 2 inches above the ankle. A straight leg or skinny leg is best, in a stiffer fabric to hold its geometric shape. Boyfriend jeans also work, as long as they're cropped above the ankle. In addition to the cropped white denim, I chose two other pairs of crop length pants. These dark red trousers, and a pair of slim boyfriend jeans. Another element that is perfect for the flamboyant gamine is geometric detailing. This t-shirt, for example, has black piping around the neckline and sleeves, and a small logo near the neckline. This adds a bit of contrast, geometry, and the illusion of structure to an otherwise basic piece. Some other ways to add sharp geometric detail is with a graphic print or even with an overall asymmetric shape of the garment itself. And while rounded prints aren't generally recommended, this floral top works because of the sharp geometric silhouette that it creates with the sleeveless design. And the horizontal block of ruched detail adds that staccato rhythm that looks so rock and roll on the flamboyant gamine. Boxy shapes are also amazing for the flamboyant gamine, as in this cropped jacket. The small pocket details, tailored and structured shape and design are all harmonious with the flamboyant gamine. Now let's put together the rest of the capsule. This one shoulder tank is another nice asymmetric basic for the spring and summer months. I also added this boxy white shirt with an avant-garde pocket detail. And finally, a slightly boxy blue cardigan with short sleeves and small crocheted pockets will be a fun layering piece for the warmer seasons. For bottoms, short skirts are also great for the flamboyant gamine as they create that short and boxy staccato silhouette that I spoke about earlier. This pleated skirt with a bit of a military design is a fun one. When choosing a pleated skirt for a flamboyant gamine, try to keep the pleating minimal and mostly below the hip line to ensure the skirt will maintain its geometric structure. I also added this black leather skirt, and I took a flyer on these cargo style pants. They definitely break all of the Kibbe rules for the flamboyant gamine, but they're a fun piece that adds a lot of personality to the capsule. Don't ever feel like you always have to follow all of the rules with your style. However, it's good to understand the rules because it'll help you understand why some things work and others don't, and how to make something work when it doesn't necessarily seem like it would suit your body type. For example, these pants would work best with a tight top for the flamboyant gamine, whereas an overall baggy look would drown the flamboyant gamine's frame. Let's add one more dress. A simple tank dress with some graphic text around the edges is a cool elevated basic. And in addition to the beautiful green jacket that we chose earlier, let's add a neutral cropped leather jacket and a shearling one for the cooler spring days. Flamboyant gamines look amazing in large structural collars that cover the shoulders, so I think this one from J.W. Anderson is perfect. Now let's choose some shoes. I always like to keep the shoe selection practical, but not without personality. Let's add a clean pair of white sneakers to start. A pair of versatile sneakers is always a must-have for any capsule. This pair of Mary Jane ballet flats is also a fun and quirky but versatile option that also happens to be on trend. These definitely look like something that Audrey Hepburn would wear. Another practical but slightly unusual option would be these green rain boots. I think they'll actually look really stylish when paired with the mini skirts we chose earlier. And finally, this pair of red heels is bold but wearable for dressier occasions. For accessories, I chose two bags, a red geometric bag and this green mini bag from Jackamoose. Small structured bags are a top choice for flamboyant gamines. The final capsule includes eight tops, six bottoms, two dresses, three jackets, four shoes, and two bags for 25 items which can create at least 75 interchangeable outfits.
enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to learn more about your own kibbe body type. Which kibbe body type are you? Let me know in the comments down below which image ID you'd like to see next. If you're looking for a little bit of help determining your body type or color type and you want some personalized outfit recommendations, I'd love for you to book a style talk with me. If you're interested, links to all of my styling services as well as links to all of the items featured in this video will be in the description box below. If you genuinely like this video or found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more personal style and capsule wardrobe videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.